Hi everyone, we're driving from Roche Noir through the beautiful forests of Brada all the way to Poster Flak. Join us, it's going to be epic. Well, here we go into Roche Noir. We've just passed Azuri, which is a resort behind us. A resort, and the traffic light's going to catch us straight up. Roche Noir yeah. welcomes you. We have been what is, it? what is it? Village, village de la Solidarity. Solidarity. So it's a village of solidarity. Yeah, a lot of the villages in this area, they actually have a, a little slogan, a little statement, a thing. And so this is Village de la Solidarity. And then they tell you below that, if you actually look at the sign, it says Le Solidarity de Apro something, Le Pax a Unity <laughs> et Le Progress. That's exactly what it says verbatim. Uh -huh. <laughs> and look, the flamboyants have started to flower. It's truly summer. It really is. And what a beautiful day. How blue is that sky and white the clouds and oh, red yes. the flamboyants and green the trees. Domaine du Levant. I have no idea what that is, but Probably that's at the start. Residence. Gorgeous but, trees. Gorgeous. But th this is like one of those, those those strange villages that you probably wouldn't come to because you'd stop at Azuri or you'd go down to the beach. This is not a beach town, but it is a surprising village. Yeah, it does actually have a, a bit of beach frontage and even a little island in there, I think. It has a little island. Yeah. Okay. No, we have to come explore it sometime. We definitely do. There are also caves. A lot of caves. Technically, lava tubes. Lava tubes, but caves Lots nonetheless. Lots of lava tubes. We're going to look out for one. Should come up on our left. Cave Madame. But I think they're like three or four. Okay. And uh, if you're interested, I'll actually give you a proper cool link that I think Let's Discover Mauritius, something like that. They actually did a full link of where to park and how to actually get to each okay, of the Okay, here it is. This is where it is. It's right here. This okay, is it. Wow. So that's, that's the place. Madame. We're definitely going to have to go explore it. It's right on the main road, so you can't miss it. But we need a torch. <laughs> but we, yeah, you know how our camera is in the dark. Go check out the Petty Raffery video. Yeah, Petty I love Raffery. I love the shop here because the, the, the speed bump is so bad in front of it that I could start driving over the speed bump. Yes, and pick up a roti. And Ricky could go hop out, go get a roti. <laughs> and we could still be back on before we'd even cross that speed bump. It's classic. <laughs> We keep meaning to do that sometimes. We, we definitely want to do that. We need someone to record it for us so that we uh, can actually do it properly. <laughs> I'll dash out and grab a roti. But now we're about <laughs> to, to leave the area, leave the, the town. And from here on, it's like forest. It, it's Brado, oh, which is, I think, a national park or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they actually started it way back in the 1800s. They... They, they planted a lot of non-endemic trees and then they decided, no, no, we've got to pull these out and put some endemic trees. So they're busy with that. Right, but also along the way, on our way, we're going to go past the, the wind farm. Yes, which it's is supplies. super cool. They look so alien. Yeah, and they just stick out in front of you at there, the end of the road. you can already see them. I don't know it's if like, you can, no. they're quite far down yeah, the edge. Yeah, I could already see them. It's like, it freaks me out. It's like Day of the Triffids or something. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> they, they produce enough electricity for 10,000 homes. Yeah, very cool. So that's cool. And only like eight of them. I mean, if there was another two, three hundred, yeah, that would be sorted. all our power. But now we're entering Flat District. So Flat District. Leaving Riviera de Rampart into Flat. We don't know what this wall is about. No, this wall is quite confusing. It's but just, it'll, it'll come back. One day, one day there'll be something there. And traveling just next to us on the right is where the old railway used to go. Yes. Kind of cool. This is not the old railway road. No, no, because this goes up and down. The railway road is in the flat bit, which is now Government Park. Yeah. And there's. But an you can actually see a little bit of it in Brada O. Yes, yes, you can. Park. Actually. There's actually a bit of track left. It's one of the few places. We won't actually be seeing it on this trip because it's inland a little bit. And there's an observatory. Uh, look at the moon type observatory. Yeah, if you want to go stargazing and that sort of thing. And that's where they are. But yeah, how quiet is this road? It's quite there's amazing, nobody on yeah. it. Got it I, all to ourselves. It seems like a little bit of scrubland at the moment. It doesn't seem like we're actually in foresty area. Yeah, it's still a little bit dry because we're just coming out of the dry season into the wet season. So a lot of the things haven't got their leaves yet. Yeah, they, they, we don't have like, uh, because it gets cold, you leave, you lose your leaves. Because it it's dry. dry, we lose our leaves. Look at this coming up. Look at that. That's a massive wind turbine. Whoa. <laughs> oh, sorry, right? The road is not perfect, guys. The road is not perfect. Uh, it's a little bit up and downy, but can how you are these see alien them? things? Brian would be trying to yeah. just... zoom in on it. And there it is, spinning ahead ahead of us. Sorry, everyone, that was wow. someone phoning. 
It's so amazing. It really is. Because someone in a rush. Yeah, so. Maybe we should stop at the at the wind turbine. Yeah, we'll stop, we'll stop, and stop have at the wind them farm. Out. So we'll check them out so that Ricky can speak to whoever's trying to phone it. <laughs> Yeah, you know when you get a call and it's like, no, I can't speak to you right now, and then they phone you like five times afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to quickly... But let's go stop and show you these things because they're absolutely incredible. Look, look straight ahead. I'm going to turn straight onto it so that you can actually see the, the loads of them all lined up ahead of us. Have a look at that. Wow. Well, we're going to pause it here so Ricky can answer her phone. They're actually making quite a loud noise. But there they are. I've just taken this out so Ricky can finish her phone call. But look at those guys go. And they're quite noisy. And it's quite disturbing watching them as the, as the, the clouds move. You feel like you're moving. <laughs> uh, we're up again. Look, and there's more down that way. They are truly cool. Definitely something you've got to come have a look at. Yes, definitely. Renewable energy. And this road is quite a good drive as well. It is, it's a nice drive, I like it, especially when we get to the forest. Yeah, no, we're not at the forest yet, but it, it, there are some weirdnesses as we come up to this, because they've got this like steel fence across that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, I don't know, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like for rhinos or something? It, it must be, it looks like <laughs> rhinos, but then they can just walk on the road. They could just walk on the road. But and here's the start are. of Rado National Park. Rado National Park. And then now, just up ahead, you see that white thing on the right there? Yes. These are spiked booms that go all the way left and right. Yeah, but nothing really connects them. Yeah. Weird. Very strange. If and you know they, what those are, are, let me know. Yeah, please do, because if they're no they're, rhinos. Yeah. And if there are rhinos, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rado it means arm of water. Arm of Water, yes, because if you look at it from Google Earth, well, not if you look from the shore, I think they named it like that. But yeah. there's a temple here on the corner. Temple and, on the corner. And it makes people do some really weird driving. <laughs> and now we get to the beautiful forestiness. Yeah, this is where they're trying to make it all endemic. Hey? Yeah. But it is so nice and cool. You actually feel the temperature oh, drop yes. as you come in here. It is really, really nice, but it is a bit windy. It is a bit of a windy road. And you guys got a bit of streak of sun there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Ricky's cambering us. <laughs> Just giving you the full experience. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the full experience. And it is, it is sharp. And some people do drive too fast, but don't take your time down this road. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this forest. And just ahead is the visitor's center. Breathe it in. Yeah, and this is where they've got the ruins of an old sugar mill. And an and, old well. Yeah, and there was a whole village here. And the guy had like pigs and cows and all sorts of things. There's actually, on the land, it actually shows where, if you look at it, where cows and pigs have, have changed the landscape. Yeah, there were so many cows and pigs that they changed the landscape. Yeah. Incredible. Now we're leaving the tree-lined area. Oh, and there's always that big bump there that I forget about. <laughs> A tree root. Yeah. And then we get up. these pretty trees. There's some places we'll have to show you where these things line uh, yeah. the streets. It's something that when we first got to Mauritius and we drove down one of these foresty roads and it's like, wow, was not expecting tree that. lined. And it's so nice, it's so beautiful. I love trees. Yeah, Ricky's a big arborer. So <laughs> I don't know what a tree person <laughs> is. <laughs> tree hugger. <laughs> tree hugger. Oh, now we have a choice, post Lafayette or Flack. So we're going to go to Flack because we're going to the one and only. There'll be a video out about it. Yes. St. Chiran, one and only. Now this is a T-junction, but the people don't indicate and then they just turn. So we're never quite sure who's turning and who isn't. No, I think we're good to go now. As you can see, Constance Prince Maurice, Constance Belmar Plage, all of those are down here. But we're on our way to Post de Flac. Post de Flac is a wonderful little village. It really has got a fantastic temple and this tr old train station is still there. Yeah, Post de Flac, there you go. We won't be going through the main part of Post de Flac. You get that from if you go up to Flac, Flac Flac, Centre de Flac. Flac Flac. But along this road, it's like it feels. Uh, 
hotter than we when we just were. Yeah, because there's no trees. Yeah, so if we keep the trees, it feels a lot more... Uh... Keep the trees, man. Keep the trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. just next to us is actually the sea, but you just, just can't quite see you it. just can't make it out. But it is there. So we are quite close to the sea. Now we're pulling away from it a bit. But it's like these weird, these roads are a little bit weird. I don't know why they made them like this. You know, we're trying to go straight. Yeah, there's no real reason for some of these really sharp bends, but maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's not following the old uh, train line or anything. Yeah, which would have gone straight. <laughs> yeah, but it's all but these it's like, sharp turns and, and drop-offs and... Maybe someone thought, oh, it's just going to be more fun. Yeah, let's make you it fun. You won't fall asleep or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll keep the people away. Ooh, but what's... it's a great road and walking through Brada O Forest, wonderful. And there's loads of parking there. Definitely an experience. And if I remember, I'll put the Brado card up. Yeah. And there's a toilet and everything. So Yeah, no, it's very nice. Lovely trip out. Nice new bridge, nice new road. Yeah. What are they doing here? I don't know. It's probably all those big fancy hotels. Yeah, because, I mean, it's like, why have this fancy road from here, where behind us it's quite bad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wouldn't you like to build it all the way? Uh, maybe. Maybe they'll get there. Maybe, maybe. Okay, now we're about to enter actual uh, poster flat, the, the village. Yeah. Poster flat is most famous for its big temple it out the, on the water. On an island, it's called Chinese Guava Island. Yes. And they still have the remnants of the old uh, guava tree. Yeah. Said so to be the first one introduced. Yeah. Now this we go pick them and eat them because they're young. Poster flag. This is poster flag. We know very little about this part of poster flag. Yeah. We know the main part. We know the temple. We know the lime kiln. But here, you guys are just going to have to see it with us. There's some snack shops. Yeah, there's, quite just, a few there's shops. kind of nowhere to park. So yeah. I suppose that's why we've never explored it. No, yeah, no, there is nowhere to park. You, you can park at the temple, which is fine. And you can park way into the town and that's fine. But here, nothing. Well, here's the traffic light, and after this traffic light, we're pretty much out of post to flat. Yeah. But cool. What yeah. a nice drive. Oh, so I do enjoy that drive. Great to see the flamboyance coming out. Ah, oh, it is fantastic. And it's nice to drive through the forest with that nice cool bit. It is. Wow, oh, actually, so post to flat does continue a little bit more than I expected out here. <laughs> yeah, lots of snack shops. Yeah, and some old buildings on the side. It is a really nice village. Yeah. Well, there we go, over the bridge and out of Poster Flat. Wonderful. So yeah. now you've seen a part of Mauritius that maybe you haven't seen before. And there's a golf course ahead or something. Yes, with an old building. The start of the Constance Prince Golf Course, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. And there's an abandoned old building. Yeah, it's a gorgeous looking little building. I do like that building. I've always wanted to explore Very it, much. but there's no parking near it. Yeah. I really thought we'd end by now, but this is so beautiful here. It is gorgeous. What is that? Providence Sumer. Providence Sumer. Providence at the sea. Providence at the sea. Oh, this is like one of my favorite roads. Do you guys want to come with us? <laughs> because I love this road. I love this, this road. This road is so cool. This road is like a little mini rally stage. It is. It's like what you got to do is get your speed up to 60. Don't go over 60. It is still a 60 road. But because they have all these humps and jumps, <laughs> you actually get to do some of them. It's like, hold your breath. Go go you guys, not that one, but it is kind of fun to do this. There are a few of them that uh, if you go too fast, you can actually see where people have scraped below yeah. as they go over the hill. I think it's this one. It's a beautiful road though. It really is. And it's brand new and it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was so much fun. I love that. But don't go too fast there. You actually see people where they, they actually leave yeah, the road yeah, and scrape the bottom as they get over. Yeah. It's a very cool road. It is very cool. I'm glad we actually got to stay for it. Yeah, I know. It is one of my favorite roads. Just because of the road. And it's such a beautiful road. I think they fixed it because of all the hotels and things. Yes, all the fancy places. So they've got this lovely road. And through that wall is the actual golf course. Barely used. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I picture you could do it if you had a fast car. If you were doing it like they shut the road off and you are doing a rally stage through uh, it. Oh, yeah. And it would be it superb. Would be, 
it would be so much fun with all these little bumps you know they just enough coming the other way as well on this one is quite fun because you get going whoa <laughs> and again whoa. <laughs> Oh my word. <laughs> oh, oh, we're, we're such children. <laughs> yeah. No, sometimes you got to have fun. <laughs> and we're doing this at like 50 k's an hour. Yeah, can you imagine <laughs> doing it at like 80 or something? All like rally car speeds. I oh, know, that would be insane. Oh, man. You would definitely become airborne. Yes. Oh, wow. It, it, does, it is a lot further than I remember. Yeah. Well, and I think the... the Shop burned, Titans. Titans, really, Ricky's doing really talk. <laughs> <laughs> and it does tighten here. Whoa. Cool. cool. And it's a Lynx Golf. Lynx Golf. Bel Constance, Constance Belmar. Plage. Oh, this is an Thank unexpected turn. <laughs> the turn or? No, the whole video. <laughs> I thought we would just do that small bit, but this actually turned into something quite fun. Yeah, we had a break at the... At the windmills. Yeah. Now we're continuing and to on the most and on. expensive road. Yes, the most expensive road is up ahead. So we'll end there. Let's end there at the most expensive road. And then you guys can join us on the most expensive road and see the rest of this road all the yeah. way to Belmar. Cyclist. Oh, it must be so hot to be out in this. Yeah. Greenhouses. Yeah, and, and it, it is land, so people can't watch you playing golf. So if you're a shy golfer, this is your golf course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. a massive golf course. It really is, and it just keeps going and going and going. Well, you guys are with us. You can see how far it is. Yeah. And you just never know when this road is going to end. It's like no. you keep doing all these turns and things, and then... Yeah, because you don't Whoa. really have far visibility. Yes, you're just seeing just in front while you're seeing how far we can see. That's about it. And then suddenly you're at the T-junction and it's like, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. Keep watching, keep watching. Oh, that looks like they're building something. Yeah. No, no, it's just some medical. And we're here. We're at the, at the T-junction. So go check out that other video. Link above. Yeah. And we are turning here at Long Beach. Well, everyone, I hope you really enjoyed that. That was fun. It was unexpected at the end. But <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>